Man, I can't believe I'm having to calculate all these costs for this project on my phone. Oh, I wish there was an easier way to do this. Let's talk about that. Hey everybody, Ben with Magic Plan here. And as you might have guessed, today we're talking about estimating. Today, we'll do a 10,000 foot view of all the changes we made with our new estimator that came out with our most recent update. So I have my laptop computer here. I'm logged into the Magic Plan Cloud, and let's jump right into it. Now, the first thing you might have noticed, I said laptop computer. That's right, you can now estimate from directly in the Magic Plan Cloud. No longer do you have to do this exclusively from your mobile device. So I pull up a project here. You see the UI for the project overview looks very similar to the application. I'll come down here to estimates, and just like that, I can begin working on an estimate from directly in the Magic Plan Cloud. You'll see that I have four different estimates on this project, but that's also an improvement that we've made with this iteration of the estimator. Now we support multiple estimates per project. If I click on new estimate up here, you'll see very similar to what you would imagine it would be. I give it a name, but I have a template option here. Now I don't have any templates uploaded now. We're gonna do a separate video on this, but I wanted to highlight this feature before we jump into my estimate I've already created. The reason we have templates, let's say 90% of your painting jobs are the exact same, or 90% of your bathroom remodels, you're doing the same type of work. You can now template the work that you do in your estimates so that you can create an estimate full with calculations and all of the standard line items that you use in less than a minute. Simply click that template and click OK. We'll do this in a separate video. And you'll have an entire estimate created for you that you can fine tune and tweak. It takes only a couple minutes. I think that's a really cool feature. That's why I wanted to give it a little shout out here today. Now, I have a couple statuses here on my estimates. I want to select one that's in draft. I'm going to select this top one here, and there's a couple things I want to highlight first and foremost. Since we're in the cloud, we're no longer on the mobile device, the UI does look a little different. We have some things up here at the top, like date issued, valid until status. These are things pertaining to the actual delivery of the estimate to your customers or your colleagues. You have opening statements and closing statements with a total section down here, but the actual floor plan overview and adding line items looks pretty similar to what you're probably already familiar with Magic Plan. Secondly, something that I'm very, very excited about is our export as PDF options. So we got a lot of feedback in the past. You guys really wanted to have some customization, a little bit more personalized exports for your customers and for your businesses. What have we done? We have made it so now that you can build out presets. Maybe you have an internal facing versus external facing preset where you can define which item details and which cost rules you want to present in your exports. On top of that, you can now organize the sections in a way that makes sense for you and your business. So let's say I don't want to see total cost on the estimate. I can click total, update the PDF preview, and you see that it's gone. This is an easy way for you to get precisely the export that you want for your business. I think this is a really cool feature. You click on export, saves right there in your browser to your downloads, ready to be emailed or printed off however you see fit. Now let's go back to the actual estimate. There's a couple things I wanna cover here today. First and foremost, we still have price lists and can still create line items ad hoc. So we will cover price list in a separate video similar to templates, but I did want to show how easy it is to add from a price list. Click on add item, select from price list, choose my price list, and let's do some painting for this project. You can multi-select, but for this one, I'm only gonna add one. Click add one item to your estimate, and it's automatically gonna use that data for the room that I added to, to give me a cost. Now let's say I wanna make some edits to this. I tapped on the line item, it pulls up this little sidebar, and you'll see here I have a breakdown of the cost, no longer do you have to have separate line items for equipment, material, and labor. You have that all directly within one line item if you wish. We have basic things like name, internal code, categories, descriptions, etc. But I want to highlight this calculator option here. This gives me a bunch of preset variables based on my floor plan that I can use to make calculations based off of. So that painting was actually for the ceiling area for that room. 
Let's say I want to add the walls as well. Maybe I'm painting the ceiling and the walls white. I will click on total wall area of reference, click save, and it went from 145 to 472 square feet. I can just exit this now and I see that my price is updated. Super easy for you to adjust the cost so that you're getting precisely the work that you're doing in the estimate itself. Now, I wanna scroll down here. As I said earlier, we have the opening and closing statements, but this total section is the last area I really wanted to cover with you guys here today. In the past, we did not support markups. Well, now we do. If you see I have a general markup, I can click on it. If I click add, this will pull up the same interface. Here, I just gave it a name. I defined a percentage that I want markup, and you can define which cost group this is applied to. So maybe it's something that's supposed to be only for equipment or labor. Click save, and it added this markup directly to my estimate. This is really, really helpful for those of you that need to have margins incorporated into your estimates, right? So now you can add markups, you can do your discounts, you can do your taxes, all from right here within the total section of your estimate. Now, as I said, we will do a deep dive of the estimator in a separate video, but hopefully you found this overview helpful and it piqued your interest to learn a little bit more about Magic Plans Estimator. If you like this video, like it and subscribe to our channel for more content in the future. Until then, have a great day.